Professional Testing For professional testing using fresh heparinized or EDTA venous whole blood serum and heparinized plasma, mix the specimen well, then collect specimen. 10 microliters for individual test and 35 microliters for 3-in-1 test into a plastic or glass capillary transfer tube or pipette. Apply it to the center region of the specimen application area of the device without touching the test device with the pipette or tube. The specimen must be tested within eight hours of collection. Allow the specimen to come to operating room temperature for approximately 15 minutes if the specimen has been refrigerated. Anticoagulants other than EDTA and heparin are not recommended. Viewing Coronary Heart Disease, CHD, Risk Evaluation. This function is for professional use only. It is not for self-testing use. If CHD is set to on during setup, the Mission Cholesterol Monitoring System can evaluate the risk of coronary heart disease in 10 years based on the test results of a 3-in-1 test. In the results screen for LDL, Press right to enter the CHD Risk Evaluation screen. Press the power button to enter the evaluation method. Press right or left to choose between the two methods for the evaluation, FRA and PRO. FRA, or Framingham Heart Study, is popular in the United States and is suitable for both men and women ages 20 to 79 years old. PRO, or PROCAM, method is popular in Europe and is suitable for men ages 35 to 65 years old. Press the power button to enter the information needed for the method you choose. If FRA is chosen, you will enter information regarding sex, age, smoker or non-smoker, systolic blood pressure, and blood pressure treatment. If PRO is chosen, you will enter information regarding age, smoker or non-smoker, diabetic, myocardial infarction, and systolic blood pressure. The CHD risk ratio will be displayed on the screen. Press and hold the power button to return to the testing screen. According to the National Cholesterol Education Program, 10-year risk is defined by three levels. CHD less than or equal to 10% is low risk. CHD greater than 10% and lower than or equal to 20% is medium risk. CHD greater than 20% is high risk. If your CHD results are higher than 20%, it is advised that you consult your primary physician for further testing and clarification. Viewing Stored Records To view stored records, from the initial test screen, press right or left to enter the memory database. To view the individual test results, press right or left to navigate between each record. Then, press the power button to select the desired individual test. Press right to view each result of the chosen record in the date, time, sequence. To view the 3-in-1 test results, press the power button to enter the record. Then, press right to view each result parameter of the 3-in-1 test, such as total cholesterol, HDL, triglycerides, total cholesterol HDL ratio, LDL, and CHD if the coronary heart disease evaluation has been enabled. If no data is stored, the meter will display one dash and MEM. Press and hold the power button to return to the initial screen. Clearing the memory. Extreme caution should be used when clearing the memory. This is not a reversible operation. To delete all data from the meter database, 
enter the setup menu, refer to meter setup and options for more details. Press right or left until DEL is displayed. Press the power button to enable data deletion, MEM will be displayed. Press the power button to delete all the data in memory, then the meter returns to the setup menu. Press right or left until ELT is displayed and press power button to exit the setup menu. Press the power button to turn off the meter. Performing an optical system check. The optical system check is performed to ensure that the meter's optical system is functioning properly. To perform an optical system check, press and hold the power button for four seconds to enter the setup screen. Press right from the setup screen to select the optical check mode, CHE. Press the power button to enter this mode. The meter will flash the test device symbol. To insert a test device, open the canister and remove one test device. Make sure to recap the canister tightly. Firmly insert the control device into the device channel in the same direction as the arrows indicate on the device. Ensure that the control device is inserted all the way to the end of the device channel until the position arrows are parallel with the two arrows on the device holder. Make sure to write down the date on the canister if opened for the first time. Discard after one year from the date the canister was first opened. Unopened canisters have a two-year shelf life. Discard after expiration date. Press the power button to start the optical check. If the meter displays yes, the meter is normal. If the meter displays no, the meter is not functioning properly. Check the control device for contamination or to see if it is damaged. If there are any visible signs of damage or contamination, discard the control device and retest using a new device. Press power button to return to the setup screen or navigate to the ELT screen and press the power button to return to the testing screen. Performing a quality control test. A quality control test is performed to ensure that the test device and the meter are working together properly and that you are performing the test correctly. Control solution tests are performed in a very similar manner to blood tests using the mission cholesterol control solutions instead of blood. Each control is available in two categories and two levels for each category. One category is ready to use for the testing of three-in-one test device with 35 microliter drop tip and another is ready to use for the testing individual test device with 10 microliter drop tip. If the mission cholesterol monitoring system is working properly, the test value will be within the range of the accepted values printed on the control solution bottle label. First, allow the test device and controls to reach operating temperature prior to testing. Then, mix the control on a mechanical mixer for at least two minutes, or invert the control bottle eight to ten times by hand. Turn on the meter. Check that the code chip number on the LCD screen matches the inserted code chip. Make sure the sample type Displayed on the meter LCD is BL. If not, set the sample type to BL. Refer to the user's manual for details on specimen type setup. Wait for the meter to flash the test device symbol. Insert the test device completely into the test device channel in the same direction as the arrows printed on the test device. While the meter is flashing the blood drop symbol, apply a drop of control solution to the specimen application area of the test device. Use a 35 microliter tip for 3-in-1 test device and 10 microliter tip for individual test device. Refer to the control solution packaging insert for details. 
Three dashed lines will appear on the meter to show the test is in progress. Read the results on the screen in two minutes. The meter will automatically turn off after five minutes of inactivity or when the power button is pressed. Interpreting results. If the result is within the range printed on the Mission Cholesterol Control Solution bottle label, the meter and test device are performing properly. If the test value is outside of the range printed on the Control Solution bottle label, or if the meter is displaying an error message, see the Control Solution package insert for further instructions. Please contact your local distributor for additional information. Maintenance For best results, the meter should be cleaned after each day of testing. Clean the meter surface with a dry or a damp cotton cloth. Use a dry soft cloth to clean the LCD. Never spray any cleaning solution directly on the meter. Remove the test device holder by pressing in on the middle of the holder and sliding it out from the meter. Wipe it down with a damp cloth or a mild detergent and dry it with a dry soft cloth. Wipe down the meter sensor area with a cotton swab. Make sure you do not scratch the transparent window covering the sensors. Slide the test device holder back into the meter. If the meter is used for self-testing on multiple patients, it should also be disinfected before each test to prevent potential infectious disease transmissions through blood-borne pathogens. For disinfection, Please use EPA registered wipes with active isopropyl alcohol to wipe the meter. Be sure to wet the entire meter surface thoroughly and remove any stains or debris. The meter surface must remain visibly wet for one full minute and then allow the meter to air dry completely before using it again. When the battery icon is flashing, the batteries are low and should be replaced as soon as possible. An E4 error message will appear if the batteries are too low to perform any more tests. The meter will not function until the batteries are replaced. Make sure to turn the meter off before removing the batteries. Troubleshooting This table displays some of the errors you might encounter and the actions you will need to take in order to solve the problem. Please refer to the user's manual for more detailed instructions. The Mission Cholesterol Monitoring System offers accurate and precise results at your convenience. Please refer to the manual for detailed instructions.